Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, March 27th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Accessory across the front of a Girl Scout uniform. I think that's going to be a sash, right? That's where all your merit badges go. Like toddlers when meeting strangers often. This is looking like it's going to be shy. Sailor's yes should be I. Seems like we're rhyming so far. Cold War Contest featuring Sputnik and Apollo. That was called the Space Race. Sandwiches that may save the day. And this is wordplay. That's indicated by this question mark at the end of the clue here. So what we have to do with wordplay clues is a look for a punny answer. So this is not just going to be about a sandwich that saves the day because you were really hungry. I think there's going to be a pun about the name of the sandwiches. And I think that's going to be heroes because heroes save the day. And it has to be plural because the word sandwiches is plural in the clue. Okay, so it's looking like we might hit our first theme answer here. Let's see what this is. Does the name contain an animal? Yes. Is it a band fronted by Adam Duritz? Yes. Hmm. This almost feels like we're playing 20 questions or something. Uh, okay, so this is the name of a band. And it has an animal in it. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can think of this. It starts with C-O. Hmm. Peaks of waves. Okay, that's going to be crests. Let's see if we can get some more help on this theme answer. Jazz player state. This is very tricky. This is a hidden proper noun. The way this clue is formatted almost feels like it's talking about a jazz musician, right? But there's also the Utah Jazz. That's a basketball team, so we can put in Utah here. That's a pretty tricky clue for a Monday puzzle. Ship's primary canvas. Canvas. They must be talking about a sail here. So maybe this is the main sail? Do we have enough for this theme answer now? Hmm. I wonder if I've even heard of this band. The M in Einstein's E equals MC squared. That's energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Car, maybe that could be auto. Let in on a secret. Okay. Mother, sister, EG. That would be an example of an aunt. Uncomplaining say. Maybe that's stoic. One of Shakespeare's begins, My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun. That sounds like the beginning of a sonnet to me. Oh, is this Counting Crows? Okay, I have heard of that band. Okay. Uh, yes, it's a band and it does contain an animal. Okay. Bearded Grazer, that could be a new. Wrestler, actor John, that's John Cena. Cluster of feathers. Maybe that's a tuft. We just had tuft on yesterday's puzzle, too. Joltless javas. I guess they don't have caffeine, so they're decafs. Okay. Airline once said to be ready when you are. The only airline I can think of that would fit in here would be Delta. Consumed. Maybe that's eaten. Dread, that's gotta be fear. John who sang Rocket Man, that's Elton John. This and that dishes, that could be stews. Stark Daughter on Game of Thrones, that's gotta be Sansa. So we have Fess, Own Up. When you have a word in parentheses at the end of your clue, that means that same word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer. So Fess Up definitely sounds right. And this is NSA, U.S. Intelligence Group. Yeah, the National Security Agency is abbreviated here because we have an abbreviation in the clue. Nice, okay. Prices. 
Maybe that's costs. Japanese noodle dish could be ramen. So we have an ore here, rower's blade, that's right. All right, it looks like we've got another theme answer here. With 45 across, does the name contain a vegetable? Yes. Is it a band fronted by Billy Corgan? Yes. Okay, I definitely know this one. This is Smashing Pumpkins. Um, and I guess it's just broken between two answers. Smashing Pumpkins. Nice, okay. So we've got two bands so far. One has an animal in it and one has a vegetable. Smallish batteries, that could be double A's. It has to be double A's plural again because of this batteries in the clue. Long running Lorne Michaels production for short, that is Saturday Night Live. We've got two L's, it's looking like we might have a llama here. Alpaca lookalike, yeah that's a llama all right. We have a gap, opening as between teeth, that's right. Closed mouth. Maybe that's mum. You're not saying anything. Food of the gods. That is ambrosia. Yeah, that's from Greek myth. That's a nice piece of fill. Big nuisance. That could be a pest. So what is MBE? Entrepreneur's degree. That should be an MBA. Master's in business administration. So this is not pest. Maybe it's a pain? That is a bigger nuisance. Yeah, that's a nice answer. Boar's gore. I guess that would be their tusk. Yeah, you don't want to get gored by a tusk. Seaweed wrapped rolls. I guess that's sushi. Opening for a coin. That would be a slot. Okay. Ted talk accompaniment often. I'd imagine that's going to be a slideshow. Winnie the Pooh's craving. He was always after honey. Possible response to who's there. It's probably it's me. So this is Dem. Rep's opponent. Yeah, Republican's opponent. Again, our answer is abbreviated because we have an abbreviation in the clue. All right. Necklace decorations. I wonder if they're just looking for beads here. Let's see. I'm about to speak. And this is a bracket clue. That means we need to come up with a nonverbal equivalent to the phrase, I'm about to speak. And I think that's gonna be a hem, a little clearing of the throat. Okay. Or with pollution solutions. That's probably the Environmental Protection Agency. Rendezvous. That'll be met. So we have dope, an equivalent phrase for sick. Yeah, these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase, and I think dope is a very good equivalent here. Flatten as a fly, yeah, that's swat. Okay, soul icon redding, that is Otis redding. Sandwich shop, I guess that's a deli. Hey, we found where our heroes came from. <laughs> okay, region, that's probably going to be an area. Mahjong piece. They use tiles in Mahjong, but it's just tile singular because they asked for a piece in the clue. Kitchen appliance brand. I think there's a company called Oster. Adios, another equivalent phrase. Um, so this is goodbye in Spanish, right? So I think they're probably looking for a way to say goodbye in another foreign language. This could be Chow. Let's see. Speedway Sport. It's not NASCAR? Hmm. Could this start with an S? Maybe. Max is opposite. That's probably min. Minimum is the opposite of maximum. Buddhist Temple. Yeah, that could be a pagoda. Moist. That's gotta be damp. Hmm. This is very interesting. It seems like it wants to be NASCAR. Speedway Sport. Maybe it's just racing. Let's see if that's right. Mean Mocking Smile. Yeah, that's definitely a sneer. Silicon Valley Field Informally. That's definitely tech. 
So a shed is a crude outbuilding. That sounds right. And let's see what our last theme answer is here. Does the name contain a mineral? Yes. Is it a band fronted by Mick Jagger? Yes. <laughs> That's definitely going to be the Rolling Stones. Oh, I see what they're doing here. So when you're playing 20 questions, the kind of classic way to start is to ask, is it animal, vegetable, or mineral? And that's what we've got here. We've got animal, vegetable, mineral, and they all end up being names of bands. That's pretty cute. Okay, let's see if we can finish this last corner here. Brazilian actress, Sonia. I definitely don't think I know this person. Fez-shaped chocolates. Okay, those are kind of conical with the top cut off. So I think this is gonna be Rolos. Suspects out, that would be an alibi. We just saw that a day or two ago also. Part of the Apple logo, I guess that's the leaf on top of the apple. Okay, one might arrive on a saucer. <laughs> okay, this is not talking about a teacup. I think this is a flying saucer and we're dealing with an alien here. Portable preparedness kit, that would be called a go bag. Sarcastic, I bet, that'll be as if. And then garment that may have an underwire, that's definitely a bra. So this is Sonia Braga. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never heard of this actress before, that's a new one for me. All right, well, let's go ahead and throw this B in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in 17 minutes. This was a pretty funny theme. Yeah, we're playing 20 questions, and it seems like we always get it in two. We start with the classic openers. Does it contain an animal, vegetable, or mineral? And then we zero in on a band. It's pretty funny. Yeah, we've got Counting Crows, Smashing Pumpkins, and the Rolling Stones. The rest of the fill was pretty nice too. We got a few fun long down answers like Slideshow, Ambrosia is really nice, and Space Race. We also got a Monday workplay clue, sandwiches that may save the day. And we also got a good example of a bracket clue down here. Yeah, I like seeing this extra variety of cluing on a Monday puzzle. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed playing 20 questions with me today. It's time for me to say ciao but I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. All right, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'll see you next time.